when I was diagnosed, I didn't want to hear the medical talk, the statistics. I wanted to know that I was going to survive. If I started meds, I was going to get up. I was going to be okay. I just wanted to talk to somebody who was in the same boat as me. Well, the person that I actually most connected with was um, a friend of mine who I used to date, and he's not, he's not here around anymore. He actually passed away back in 2008 at the age of 26. It's really difficult um, to see that because I've, he's not the only one. I mean, I've had um, a couple of friends pass away, especially in this area that I grew up, you know, in the gay community with, and they're just the denial, the stigma, everything that's negative that feeds into HIV, they, you know, fell victim to. So a lot of them didn't take medication, a lot of them didn't think that it was something that could kill them, and it eventually did. Great presidents are not born great presidents are made. Right. They have to be pushed into their greatness. They must be held accountable. You don't believe me? Let me convince you right quick. There is no Abraham Lincoln if there ain't a brother named Frederick Douglass holding him accountable. There is no FDR if there's not a brother named A. Philip Randolph That's right. and a sister named Eleanor Roosevelt yeah. holding him Accountable. That's right, that's right. There is no LBJ if there is no MLK holding him accountable. We let the world know that the AIDS crisis is not over. We need to make sure that we have more AIDS education, AIDS funding, prevent this disease from happening. I've lost so much from this disease, I don't want to lose any more. We cannot lose any more. We need to keep the promise. Keep the promise! Go, go, go. Let me see your hands up in the air. Let me see your hands up in the air. Let me see your hands up in the air. Let me see your hand up. Come on, man. Keep the promise. Keep the promise. Keep the promise. Keep the promise. Keep the promise.